Now this is what I want to play though. Have you seen this? Have you seen this before? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, seen dude, this, this is beautiful. This, this is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. My apologies to our Mormon friends. Regardless of its Christian veneer, the basic tenets of Mormonism are in direct conflict with biblical Christianity. The following piece of well, animation, yeah. based directly on actual <laughs> Mormon yeah, publications, Mormonism highlights these By major the way, doctrinal. By Mama, you know what's funny? I, I mean, I don't know if it's funny, but um, I grew up and and Mormonism was like. I, mean, I apologize uh, for our Mormon friends, of course, but it was kind of like a running joke, basically, uh, in my household. I remember my mom, <laughs> like, the magic glasses, I remember, was like a joke uh, in my household since I was a child. It's like the magic glasses. <laughs> like, every time Mormonism would come up, magic glasses would get mentioned somehow. It wasn't even the underwear. I didn't learn about that until Mitt Romney, but... Differences. Well, Mormon he doesn't have his underwear yet. You know, Joseph Smith, who founded Mormonism, was a rogue Freemason, right? I uh, know. I didn't know that. Um, so Joseph Smith was a Freemason. And uh, my take on Mormonism is that because the Freemasons, they uh, sort of have a more secular here's belief. Kai. Here's and they Kai. study all the religions, right? <laughs> By the so way. Joseph Smith would have studied <laughs> Islam. And he has a very similar foundation story to fucking Mormonism as the foundation story of Islam. Uh, Muhammad went up to the mountain and had the divine revelation from the fucking... Um, Angel Gabriel or whatever the fuck, whereas Joseph Smith went into the fucking forest in the Americas and had the divine revelation from the fucking angels, right? Like, it's almost identical, the fucking foundational stories of Islam and Mormonism. Mother. And uh, Joseph Smith, he, he became a rogue Freemason. He fucked off and, like, founded Mormonism. And uh, Mormonism conflicts with Freemasonry, but they, uh, they're they very similar. Like, just like how in Freemasonry you have to do the first three fucking degrees to become a Master Mason, then sort of go about it how you will. In Mormonism, there's like three degrees and like three rituals that are very similar to Freemasonry. And uh, you have to get the third degree to get your, like, magic underwear. So Shaggy is, like, at the third degree and he's still waiting to get his magic underwear. Also, Kai is in the chat, so I, I, he, and he's wanting to come on, so we'll go ahead uh, and send him the link um, uh, to talk about. Yeah, is he a Mormon? He is a Mormon. Yes. <laughs> oh fuck! I thought uh, I thought he was. I, it's, it's I didn't know he was still up. I mean, I I couldn't. I don't know how he saw this, but no, I'm just kidding. I saw he was streaming. Um, but let me play a little bit of this to like. Kino Casino keeps saying that Kai is their spy on the inside. I heard that. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe that, but hey, what's up, guys? Oh, let me let me make myself appear. Give me a second. You're just seeing my background right now. This is such a the Google Meets man. It always uh, it always gives me a hard time. Um, so okay, what? I hear you, Kai. I hear you, Kai. You I'm fucking that. boomer tech alerts all over the fucking map. Uh, the Google Meets is new to me. I just downloaded it tonight. I feel your pain, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, but hey, what's this video? What's this? Uh, have they talked we, about? We have to watch how it. By the way, God the has sex with multiple wives. Oh, did you have to? Okay, we're gonna watch it with you. That makes it even. Better. No, no, no. Did they say that though? No. Nah, well, I don't. Well, again, I don't remember everything that's said. We watched it. Um, we watched <laughs> it a couple, few months ago on the on the tequila the Sunday. Mother, so the heavenly mother Astaroth is simply just the housekeeper on Kolob Kai. Okay, so give me a second. I need to <laughs> share this to my fellas, to my people. Okay. And then uh, and then uh, we'll we'll dive on into this. Give okay, me well, let me send you the link to the video too, in case you wanna uh, look into that too. But of course you'll be yes. able to hear it over the airwaves. You don't have to pull it up, but Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, give me a quick moment. Okay, cool. We're glad you're here, Kai, to defend the Mormon office. I am glad. I am glad I'm Kai? here. Actually, Kai, I do a Bible study every Sunday. So tomorrow I'll be doing Bible study. And I have Mormon Shaggy call into Bible study all the time. And we debate on the theological issues between Mormonism and Christianity. And uh, I would love to have you on if you want to have more of a theological debate. Tomorrow I'll be doing Bible study probably at like 7 o'clock. Uh, Drunken Surfer on uh, YouTube. And I, I, I'd love to have you call into that, Kai, to be honest with you. I, uh, hey, maybe, I'd like to have man. people from all theological backgrounds to, uh, to get to the truth, right? 
Sounds sounds interesting. I appreciate you having Mormons at the table. Let's watch this video. Okay, though, let's watch it. A lot of the times, I don't know which video it is, but if it's the video I'm thinking of, this is, is the, well, people it's say it's like a banned Mormon cartoon. Yeah. If it's the video I'm thinking of, it's not. And it's actually anti-Mormon propaganda. But let's see. All right, hold on a sec. Anonymous sent $3. I can't stand this guy's faggoty, always laughing attitude. Reminds me of me? Medicare. <laughs> No, I think. Wait, which one of us? This could apply to either of us. <laughs> what are they comparing me to Medicare to Medicare now? I, I think. I thought I'm going chemo. <laughs> All right. I thought at death's door. I like to think I still have a lively life ahead of me. All right, let's you play know, this. As long as the state doesn't come and try to force inject mRNA vaccines into my arm. All right, let's play this right now. Ism teaches that trillions of planets scattered throughout the cosmos are ruled by countless gods who once were human like us. Yeah. Okay, pause it, pause it. They say All right, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, keep going. I want you to keep going, actually. And then I'll say what I'm going to say. Okay. One of these planets to an unidentified god and one of his goddess wives, a spirit child named Elohim was conceived. This spirit child was later born to human parents who gave him a physical body. Oh, the Through child obedience looks like to Mormon died. teaching and death and resurrection, <laughs> he proved himself worthy and was elevated to godhood as his father before him. All right. Mormons okay. believe. Okay, I'll pause, I'll pause it. I'll pause it. I'll pause it. Go ahead. Yeah, so what we're what we're watching right now what we're watching is what's called the god makers which is a cartoon or well it's a cartoon based on the god makers which was uh i i believe or no yeah it was a book and a film i think and what it is is anti-mormon propaganda from i think it's supposed ex-members of the church let me check i'm, I'm on the wikipedia right okay. now it's called ed decker and dave hunt they co-authored it um and uh, it basically is is literally anti Mormon propaganda, which is blatantly untrue. There is never existed Mormon doctrine that said that God, and you'll see this a little bit later on, that God has sex with multiple wives and creates spirit children. Um, that has never existed in Mormon doctrine. And the reason why I'm glad I'm here is because. Uh, these videos would like get put all over the internet and people believe it. They see like banned Mormon cartoon. That's what it was on TikTok. That was the headline banned Mormon cartoon. And it turned out to guess what? Be anti Mormon propaganda that even the Catholic church condemned, even members of the Catholic church and like higher up said, you know, we're not Mormon, but this is blatantly untrue anti Mormon propaganda. So it's a great source you have here against the LDS church. And half of it, you know, is not even true. It's always like there's a semblance of something that's real, which is that there's speculation about a regression of gods and the idea of maybe God was once a child, who knows, on a different earth. That's speculative. It's never existed uh, as like set doctrine the way this film is describing. So that's my two cents on on this entire film. So, so wait, repeat that last. So you're saying that some of it is like. Um, uh, like not set church doctrine, like people freelancing or, or like 99% of it is not set church doctrine. Um, yeah, basically what it takes is speculation and then it takes the, the worst sounding rhetorical characterization of LDS belief. And then it writes that as if it's the doctrine and canon of the church, now, when in reality it never has been. Now, there has been some evolution on church policy, though, and they're going to talk about yeah. this later on about specifically. Well, about, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. I'll let you talk next for sure. Uh, about black people and stuff like that, and they go into that uh, quite in detail uh, in this cartoon. Yeah. Um, so, so are there still people within the church who – hold some of the views in this cartoon or who disagree with the shift in church policy. 
Well, on the, issues. most of the stuff in this cartoon is just like not the view of, or shouldn't be the view of like any church member. The perspective of like blacks bearing the mark of Cain, or um, you know, and, and by the way, I don't, I don't think the church, and and I might be just confusing stuff. So like, correct me if I'm wrong here. Well, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe don't correct me if I'm wrong. I was gonna say you would probably know more than me. Here. Like, I mean, I, yeah. I I'm not as I, it, well. But anyway, yeah, not you, Ralph. Not you. Yeah. You're not. You're like maybe surfer. Yeah, way maybe or he another. studied it a little harder. Yeah, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'll let him talk um, next. By the way, go ahead. But the the perspective is um th this comes from i believe it's first or second nephi there's a verse that describes um the descendants of cain i believe having or maybe it's not even the descendants of cain but this group of people having a skin of blackness and or having a complexion of blackness and what the problem was was in the early church uh, when most of the individuals in it were just like you know racist there's not really a way around that Damn, they were they would read that verse and they'd say, this is a literal interpretation of just, they have black skin like African Americans. If you read any of the Bible, you'd understand that that complexion of blackness is a spiritual complexion that's referenced all throughout. This is a metaphor that's frequently used. For instance, whiteness is this idea of purity and of, you know, being uh, close to God and being away from sin. It's not a literal like complexion of a white face. So that's the reason for the mistranslation. And if you were actually to rely on the context and if it were read correctly, instead of just being read from the worldview of the people prior to the 1960s, um, you would have seen that. And the church takes a really logical position on it now. But prior in church history, it wasn't seen the same way. And that's why this has been a big controversy. All right, go ahead, Surfer. Well, we know that the descendants of Cain were completely wiped out in the flood. And we read in Genesis right after that that it was the descendants of Japheth that make up the Gentiles. Now, blacks are the descendants of Ham. Um, so the, the argument could be made by all the racists and neo-Nazis out there that uh, when the kingdom was opened up from just Jews to the Gentiles as well, the New Testaments, that the descendants of Ham aren't Gentiles as described in Genesis. So was the kingdom really open to black people? <laughs> I don't have a response to that. Here, hold on. I, I, I don't know if that wait, was wait, a question. Wait, wait. I don't... Joey J. Jason, wait, freedom sounds around. like what Kai is saying wait, is wait, that wait, wait, wait. used to be taken Hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's a cut fag religion. Hold on, wait, wait. Just let me replay yeah, that, it, that, that super ahead. chat. It's okay. I know it's harder for you to hear because you don't have the headphones on. Um, Joey Jojo sent three dollars. Sounds like what Kai is saying is that Mormonism used to be totally based, and now it's a cut fag religion. Base Joey Jojo. He's one of the fucking OGs from the PPP chat. That's what, uh, yeah, th those are the hardest people to proselytize to. And I say this all the time because it's like, you know, the, I'll, I'll be like, hey, what's up? Have you heard about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? And people will be like, oh, yeah, you guys are like racist polygamists, right? And I'm like, well, <laughs> not really anymore. And then they're like, uh, oh, like, oh, oh never well, mind. I don't want to hear like, that. Yeah. Uh, uh, we can go back. Sorry. It's like, no, yeah. you had Those my attention for a minute, but now it's like, ah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The good old days. We well, can, we bring back the good old days in the Mormon church. <laughs> All right. Now <laughs> let me, uh, this about, this about. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but let's play this video. Cause that's why we uh, did this. No, hold on. I just wanted to say that the promise was given to Abraham. The covenant was given to Abraham and was also, was also re-given to, um, to Isaac and to Jacob that through Abraham's seed, all the nations of the world would be saved. So not just the Gentile nations, but all of the nations, those who would believe in Christ, would be saved. Through Abraham's seed, all, all people would be saved. What do you think, Surfer? So wait, wait, let me ask you this. Is Kai, is Kai going to heaven or hell? Is, what do you think about that? Well, you know, we're, we read in, um, where I'm reading now, I think in uh, Galatians. No, in Romans. Actually, here, let me go on my Bible. It's in uh, Romans 10. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit of Scripture. Just let me flip to it. Um, here's Acts. Romans is right before Acts. Oh, no, Romans is right after Acts. Sorry, guys, I'm sort of drunk. <laughs> so in Romans 10... We read that, um, 
Um, here, just let me find the verse. I sure. That text. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is, that is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring bring up Christ again from the dead. Um, so you're saying you're I'm not going to answer the question. On that, but pretty much what it says in those verses yeah. is that we shouldn't look at a snapshot of time as to who is saved and who is condemned, but we should look at it as more of a uh, continuous time, more of a spectrum of time. And uh, even though people might not be righteous in the instance, they might become righteous. And it's our job as Christians to evangelize the people and try to bring them to God. So even though th because of their faith and because of their actions, they might not be saved in, in the instance of time, we can bring them to Christ and they can still be saved. So even if Kai is a Mormon, um, he can still repent of that. You know, accept Christ into his heart instead of Joseph Smith, and he can still I be saved. Christ. What so do you think? Do you think we worship Joseph Smith? No, I uh, I just don't think you profess, profess the true Christ. Like if you read in the okay. Book of Galatians, the Book of Galatians is about the, uh, the Judaic elements that have, they're trying to convince the uh, like the Gentile Christians in the churches of Galatia that they should uh, they need to live by the old law to be saved, and they're professing a different Christ. They're still professing Christ, but they're not c professing the one true Christ. Mm. And it's similar, right? Like Mormons profess Christ, but mm. they don't profess the one true Christ. And yeah. there's still plenty of time for you, Kai. You're still a young guy. <laughs> you might not. You might not convert today. You might not a year from now. But I think you have a long life ahead of you. And with uh, the proper work, you will be saved, bro. I don't think it's my place to say whether you're condemned or whether you're saved in this instance of time, like we read in Romans. But I think it's more over a period of time that we should work for your salvation and everyone's salvation around us. Well, I definitely appreciate the support and uh, the perspective. I believe I do accept Christ. We don't worship Joseph Smith. I, I'm glad, actually, that you didn't kind of frame it that way, because a lot of anti-church people will. They're like, you guys pray to Joseph Smith. And it's like, no, we don't. Um, but, yeah, yeah I, uh, I appreciate you seem pretty good faith about the whole business. Um, obviously, the disagreement from the LDS perspective is we believe it's the same Christ. I mean, we read the same verse, and we say, yeah, if people People teach of a, of a different Christ. If we teach of, you know, infant baptism or of, uh, you know, a, a whole host of things that weren't true in the early church or in the Bible or Book of Mormon, then yeah, we'd say that that's uh, definitely an error. And there's a yeah. lot of similarities, but we do believe that we have the, uh, the the true Christ, the Son of God who atoned for the sins of all mankind uh, yeah. and rose on the third day. So, and to me. That's what it means to be a Christian, is to accept that Christ is your Savior, the Son of God, who atoned for the sins of all mankind in Gethsemane and on the cross and rose on the third day. Um, to me, if you believe that, you can call yourself a Christian. It's just a lot of people get into like, oh, but you don't you you don't abide by everything the Council of Nicaea says. And it's like, okay, so is the Council of Nicaea well, the arbiter of Christianity? Well, Catholics are fucking retarded. Catholics are more <laughs> retarded than the Mormons. I agree with really? You. You're, you're, and you're and rocking with Baptist the great and abominable like, church? That's fucking batshit retarded also. Like, realistically, baptism is something you do when you're of the age of consciousness and you accept Christ into your heart. The age I, of accountability, I yeah. I agree with you there, Kai. Yeah. Real and true. Well, and, and then you see, it's like there's a lot of disagreements, but I'm not saying Catholics aren't Christian. I think they are Christian. So um, that's basically my perspective on the matter. I honestly was going to go to bed, and then somebody messaged me, you need to get in the kill stream. <laughs> yeah, let me play this Mormons. cartoon real quick. Hold on, let me play the Super Chat, then I'll play the cartoon, because it's not that long. Um, Kai, do you believe that Russia and Ukraine could be ran by bankers sent $3? Kai, will you debate Adam Green? Kai, is it true that Mormons call outsiders Gentiles? Kai, what evidence that we live in a globe do you have? Leave the last one out because I don't want to talk about the globe stuff. But Okay, sounds good. Um, uh, is there evidence? Well, that technically that's his name, so I don't even need to respond to that. But I'll respond to it. 
Uh, it could be run by bankers. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, All likely. Right. What about Adam um, Green? Uh, the Adam Green thing. I don't know enough about Adam Green. I don't know what his stick is. I don't know what I would debate him on. I, I sense or I've heard that he's kind of like anti-theology or like anti-Christianity. He believes yeah. it's like a, a Jewish subversion. Uh, yeah. I don't agree with that, obviously. We did a debate People with him. Said and that we have similar haircuts, though, which I thought was funny. A little bit. We did a debate with him and E. Michael Jones last weekend. I got to uh, watch that still. Thank you for reminding yeah, me. Yeah, check awesome, that out. Dude. Of course, we would host it. I mean, uh, you and Adam mm. Green, we've hosted a lot of his debates. And, yeah, that's pretty much the, the uh, gist no. of it. It's a retarded perspective. Like the uh, the reality is, the Jews like their whole modern religion is based around rejecting Christ. And um, the the first thing the Jews want you to do is to reject Christ. Christ. So they like they use like reverse psychology, and they like paint the picture that the Jews want you to accept Christ. <laughs> so if you hate the Jews, you say, "Oh well, the Jews want me to accept Christ." I'll do exactly what the Jews want me to do and reject Christ. And you reject Christ. And that's why Adam Green's position is retarded. I actually thought, Ralph, a good debate for you to have would be Mormon Shaggy versus Adam <laughs> Green. Because Mormon Shaggy is very zealous about this shit, right? I, I actually mentioned that to Shaggy. I'd be down with that. All right, now let me play this. ...is their heavenly father and that he lives with his many goddess wives on a planet nice. near a mysterious star called Kola. Here, the god of Mormonism and his wives through endless celestial sex. Literally, billions of. This has, sorry, this endless is celestial like, sex. This has never existed in any church doctrine. Okay, I don't even so think like it's endless. So even Kolob, Wait, then, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Wait, on, hold on. Kolob is referenced in the Pearl of Great Price, but that idea about endless celestial sex, <laughs> endless. With countless wives, dude. Like, it, you, if, if you if you see that entire passage and then you say, so you're saying Kolob doesn't exist? <laughs> like that's not what I'm saying. Obviously, I'm taking more of an issue with the idea that God has endless celestial sex with his plural wives. I mean, is well, this is I'm none of this true? The now they're all hot, Jesus by the way. Christ is a space alien from Kolob. Is batshit retarded. We don't believe God, that either. We don't believe believe that either that's what shaggy tells me i don't know maybe he's he maybe he's offering a different rhetorical characterization but that's not how i <laughs> would know you gotta take these things with a grain of salt because shaggy also tells me that just like the islamic belief and the um and the judaic belief that you can lie to non-believers um Shaggy also professes that, that Mormons... Who is this guy? Unbelievers. Yeah, I don't know this guy. All right, let me play this video. Let yeah, me play. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot I forgot to answer one part of the super chat. Oh, um, sure. No, Mormons don't call other like yeah, non-Mormons Gentiles. What? <laughs> like, I've never heard that before. Grow up with this stuff? Yeah, I've never heard that before. And, well, not, and, just, not just Gentiles can be saved, but also black people. Yes. Yeah, we'll get and to they that. They could always be in the church too. They just couldn't have the priesthood for a time. They could always be baptized and enter the church. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll like get from the inception of the church. They could. Well, right. actually, Kai, this is one of my fundamental disagreements with the Mormons that there should be some sort of priesthood. I think the story of the Old Testament to the New, like the reason why the kingdom couldn't be centralized under the um, under the Israelites at the time, is because all men are flawed. And all men will come to God and move away um, due to the cycle of history as we read about throughout the Old Testament. So that's why through Christ, the kingdom was expanded to more of a decentralized kingdom so that all people from all nations of the world could be saved. They don't need to be part of a specific church or a specific group of people. All those that would believe in Christ for their salvation would be saved um, through the Spirit. And uh, that's not a centralized thing. So that's something that's very suspect about Mormonism to me, that they've tried to re-centralize it under, like, their priesthood, right? And that um, salvation comes through that centralized organization. I think the Catholics, that's one of my fundamental qualms with the Catholics, that they did the same thing. After Christ decentralized the kingdom amongst all nations who would believe, the Catholic Church came in and tried to re-centralize it under their human organization. I think the Mormons did the same thing. And to be honest with you, I think if you look at, like, throughout history, and I'm not a historical major or anything. I'm not the most learned man in history. But um, I think that the Catholics <laughs> tried to re-centralize it. 
And then there is the Protestant Reformation, and that was probably sort of based, like, initially. But the Protestants have gone fucked. And uh, I think in the early 1800s, when the Mormons uh, came to be, I think the Church of Christ actually came to be a few years before the Mormons. And the Church of Christ is a restorationist movement, like the Mormons claim to be, right? And the Church of Christ was pretty based. Not saying it is today. Like, our local Church of Christ here at Peterborough is pretty much ran All right. by... Let him get in. Let him get in. Against. All right, let him. We'll finish your thought and let him get in. But go ahead, finish up. Yeah, no, I'm just about done. Um, But the Church of Christ came to be. The modern Church of Christ has sort of gone fucked because this is just the way things go with the cycle of history. But the Church of Christ came to be and was very based in the early 1800s. And what would Satan do? Satan doesn't need to subvert the non-believers because the non-believers are already fucked. So Satan tries to subvert those that are are true believers. So when the Church of Christ was was fucking based. Uh, Joseph Smith came from the Freemasons and started Mormonism. That Most Church of Christ guys nowadays are confused with Mormons because you guys are the Church of Christ and Latter-day Saints. And my honest take is that you guys came to be right after to subvert the, uh, the Church of Christ and to bring people away. Well... Yeah, I don't know. We would call ourselves Mormons. Like, to, to call ourselves the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or members of that church is something that's, like, relatively new. I mean, we had the entire campaign of, like, you know, I'm Mormon, like, hashtag I'm Mormon and all that, which is a lot of people said that, you know, oh, the church wasted so much money on, like, the resources for this ad campaign. That's something I hear a lot, um, and it's, it's kind of true, too. Like, saying I'm a Mormon is a lot easier than saying I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But, you know, the reason we emphasize that is because that's whose church it is. We are not a, you know, a Protestant church. We're not a denomination. We are the restored church that Christ created or established on the earth. So that's kind of the reason for that. I don't think it's like a subversive point because everybody would know us as Mormons. E. Back Michael then. Jones Grow ever sent three dollars. Kai, can you explain what Planet Kolob is? What do Mormons specifically believe and about can, it? You can keep talking, by the way, because you mm. talked for a while. And, and answer yeah, go too. ahead, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to get to bed like like really soon, so this will probably be the last thing I respond to. Just to respond to the Kolob point, Kolob is, I think, in Moses, in the Pearl of Great Price, it's the star uh, which God is seated closest to, or the, the star is seated closest to God. I, I forget the verbiage. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's there's not much more about it. Um, it's pretty funny. There's a, actually a place by me called Kolob Canyon because I live in Utah, and they've got all these <laughs> esoteric Mormon names for, like, all these sites, which I think yeah. is awesome. Um, but, yeah, there's not, like, a ton of canon about it, and it's not a huge, all right, like, so there's, significant thing. So you're about to get off. I guess we're not going to get through the cartoon. I, I will finish it, but, I, it, but if it's— If I it's, watched more of no, it, I, I completely would blow my brain. No, I completely out. understand. But, by the way, so tomorrow <laughs> night we have Big Tech versus um, Zen Shapiro and Big Papa Fascist now is coming in. I don't know if you want to get in on that or if you have any suggestions. I'm trying to find him another partner, or it's just going to be two-on-one. Basically, well, what's the topic for it? Uh, the it topic's like basically, or? yeah, it's basically just ant, you know, pro or anti AF. Yeah, um, I don't know. I <laughs> the conversations with it's BP probably going to be a little sure bit nastier like, than what you would Google be Doom Mormons call Here, outsiders. Gentiles sent three dollars in Mark Twain's travel book. He mentions it. Kai debate Adam Green. Subject: Does Christianity benefit the J? <laughs> well, that's I snorted though. That's up to you uh, if you want to do that. But um, okay, yeah. It, honestly, it's probably going to be a little nastier uh, than what might be uh, you. for your taste. Uh, but yeah, man, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Uh, Absolutely. And get you some rest, and uh, we'll get you back on. Maybe this Friday we're having a super show too. So maybe. We'll oh, get you let's on. go! Yeah, thanks for bringing me yeah. on. You know, it was very spur of the moment. But whenever the Mormons catch heat, you know, I no, I, I wanted that. Woos yeah. is in bed already. So yeah, he was. In here yes. earlier, uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I appreciate you coming on, man. You have a good one. Absolutely. Yeah, I, oh, and one I thing I'll say: oh. talking to you too, Kai. And I do want to say before you go, feel free to call into the Bible study, bro. I'd love to talk about scripture to you. Yeah, I'll be doing sounds the Bible good. study tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time on uh, the Drunken mm-hmm. Surfer channel on YouTube. Uh, feel free to call in. I, I have call-ins through Discord. I um, 
I love right. hearing your perspective. Yeah. All right. Sure thing, man. And and the last thing I'll say basically before I go, just because you guys are going to watch the rest of this. We I are. Phrase, yeah. Once once yeah. again, yeah. this is not produced by the church. This is not true church doctrine. This is anti-Mormon propaganda made by people who hate the church and what it stands for. And it has been condemned by the church itself and by Catholic and other denominations as well. So just wanted to make that clear. And now I'm going to bed. Thanks for having me, Ralph. Thank and you, man. Good to meet you, Drunken Surfer. Adios. Good night, bro. Have a good night. All right, have a good one. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.